Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Dawn of Man. It is fall and it is harvest time. That's right, all of our crops here are ready to harvest. We're ready to bring in the great bounty that nature has provided to us. Um, we're doing very, very well on food. In fact, I'm going to turn this, uh, this hunting area off because we have plenty of meat, fish. Um, I'm actually going to move that fish area. Let's just go ahead and remove that fishing area for now. Acquired grain and we're getting knowledge. Now, with that knowledge and with all of this extra straw, I thought now would be a good time. Let's go ahead and unlock thatching. Now, what thatching does is it gives us thatch structures or better homes for our people. See, we can upgrade this now to a hut. A hut with a thatched roof. So we're just going to go... Oh, I got to cancel that. So then also what we need is we have to have mud. We have to have mud, so what we need is we need a mud extractor. There's that one. We'll put two people on that. And we're going to need a lot of mud fairly quick. And uh, so we're going to put a couple people each on the mud. Everyone else is harvesting. The crops are being harvested, which are, is a good thing. Definitely a good thing. Um, we, need, we need this stuff brought in to... Uh, to feed our people so we have plenty of grain they'll make flour out of the grain and other things later on uh, we should have plenty of room in our one haystack for everything but yeah we have to start making mud and then we can build a hut which huts will have room for more people and the supplies will last longer along with storage we can upgrade storage huts we can build granaries a structure to preserve our food um, the food lasts longer in the granary. And so I like to put my granary kind of, I think, in centrally located. Be a very good idea for it. Um, that way everybody can get to it. So we're going to go ahead and build our first granary right there. Um, which we want it to just keep nothing but food. That's all we're going to store in it. We're going to eventually just start upgrading all of our buildings. But what we need for granaries, we need mud wood, logs, and straw. Oh no, cave hyenas. No! What's going on here? My people are under attack. This cave lion, this cave hyena is getting all uppity. Um, this thing right here is dead, needs to be harvested for some reason don't want to waste anything man what happened all of a sudden this cave lion cave hyena is going after a cave lion it's a cave lion it's a cave hyena and I just don't like when these hyenas are really close and they create problems for us is this no they're killing my dog <sighs> man Poor pup. Killed. Oh. Man. I'm sad now. Lost a dog. Alright. Back to what we were doing. So this thing needs mud. We have mud being collected right now. Our workload is... It says balance, but is fairly high right now because we're trying to defend against all these stupid cave hyenas that are over here killing every one of them even the pups I don't care taking down every one of these cave hyenas this one's going down every one of them this guy right here where's he going okay probably something's gonna attack him if we don't get these cave hyenas hunted it's all my hunters. Fast forward for now. Uh, they're probably all out harvesting grain. Tons of food. Oh yeah. We have tons of food. Our food amount just doubled. We're sitting on 110 food. We have tons of food for now. Tons and tons and tons of food. Which is good. Good, because we have 56 people. Um, and so let's start upgrading... Uh, 
I know. There's a cave. Let's start upgrading our first hut. That way we can start getting this stuff. Maybe a couple of them upgraded before winter comes. That way, because uh, for a moment some people are going to be homeless. In fact, let's uh, let's cancel that. Let's just go ahead and build our first hut. What do you say? Build hut. You can see it's a different looking structure. It's uh, more, st it's sturdier, and structure or things inside of the hut will last longer. Uh, people are happier. People are much happier when when there's a hut. And oh, our granary is being built. Look at it. Ta-da! There, there's our first granary. Look at that thing. Like I said, what the granary does is it tells you down here. Um, Resources last two and a half times longer when stored in the granary versus one and a half times longer when stored in the, the storage hut. So it, it increases the length of our food storage, which is extremely important. Very, very important. People are already starting to load up. Our haystack is almost full. So one haystack for three fields. It's pretty good to remember. Three fields, one haystack. Oh, we're building our first hut. Look. Look at the structure being completed. We'll go into focus mode. Oh, yes. Our first hut. Ha <laughs> ha! As we make advancements in construction. It's amazing. I'm so happy. Our first hut has been completed. It's awesome. That's awesome. Heck yeah upgrades being made all around now what we'll do is we're just going to start upgrading upgrading as we get the mud that's kind of what you're what i'm going to be doing for the next little oh we can unlock more knowledge well digging we can put a well in town which is it'll save us from collecting water um animal domestication let's go just do well let's just put a well in town Production. Put a well. Maybe like. Kind of like it. Again, I don't want it near the dead bodies. <laughs> Let's put our well like right here, just right next to our hearth. Maybe there we go. Put a little well right here. Said so eventually we're gonna. Uh, this is all changing. We're gonna kind of consolidate our, our our city into a defensible area, and then we will uh, expand outward from there. We have plenty of grain. I don't need to go out and harvest. Let me. In fact, no. I like I like to bring in the berries and the nuts and the natural items right now. Our workload's not too high. So that's what we'll be doing. Uh, what we are going to keep doing is clearing out some trees here and there, because we'll need uh, we're going to need the logs. Start dipping into the log supply. Really, what we need is mud. And sign another person. Oh no, water. Only need one person. Mud. Mud is. Let's put another person on each mud supply, each mud run. They're doing the mud run. That way we can start getting plenty of mud in. So in order to upgrade, they have to tear down a structure, and then they have to put up another one. So if you don't want anybody homeless for a while, there we go. So uh, resources last two times longer in there versus one and a half times, so stuff lasts longer. Raw food can be cooked and eaten inside of there. Uh, where they had to go outside and cook their food so you can actually they can actually cook inside and I mean there's all kinds of neat little features prestige it increases our prestige holds four people and it provides also provides heat where this one just provided storage and rooms so no heat people when they were cold they would have to go out to the fire and sit but now these huts they have little homes inside of them so they need fuel Tents didn't. See, huts will need fuel, so you'll need more wood. You'll go through wood much faster than uh, than before. 
Uh, people are gathering sticks. Sticks are a good for source of fuel, along with just trees. Just cut down trees. Eventually, we'll set up like an automated timber operation. I would think that's probably essential. Uh, we build our first well. There's that. Automatically, we'll get water. So this person here, down by the river, no longer needed. So that freed up that person. We just don't need them anymore. And humans continue to join the settlement. I don't have room for people. So... We do. Let's build another hut, I guess. So we can have room for all these people that keep moving in. Speed up time. Let's get some stuff done. It's almost winter. We have plenty of food. We're nowhere near our food limit. I was going to go on a hunt, but we really don't need to hunt right now. Um, for the sake of my OCD, though, I think what I want to do is... Yeah, I'm gonna. I gotta move these. It's just I don't like how it looks. <laughs> I know I'm weird. I'm weird. I like all my stuff to be kind of nice and neat and pretty, and but it doesn't doesn't cost any resources. So this is barley here. All right. Then we'll go ahead and plant emmer there. Then we'll plant. Whatever this acorn or whatever that stuff is. There. There we go. Now our farm's kind of in one little area. Which makes it much happier. Much happier that way. We can put another field over here if we need to. Uh, which... I think with our population growth, let's, we'll go ahead and put another field of... Let's put another field of barley in. The field of barley there along the hill. Perfect. Huts are being built. Trying to keep people happy. There. Now we have plenty of grain. Now they'll collect water for their own homes. You see they just dig up water from the well. <laughs> I love when they laugh. When they get excited about stuff. Uh, room for one more person. Just going to keep upgrading huts. Uh, upgrade the hut. There we go. Because we have room for five extra people. Uh, definitely. Things are going great. I'm so happy. Our little village is doing wonderful. So we continue to upgrade things. Eventually, uh, what we need to do is we need to upgrade a storage tent. Uh, I think the best thing to do is to empty the food one. So... We're not going to allow anything in this. And we'll just empty it out. That's what we'll do there. Because all of our food can go in this one. What do you want, Woolly Mammoth? Quit getting, quit getting loud with us. Let's cut down that birch tree. Birch tree. Uh, people have time right now. Beech tree. I hate to cut down oaks. So we're going to leave them, because that way we have enough material for tanning. But here soon, we're not going to need to tan. Eventually, you, you you work out of it. really don't need to tan. You don't need tons of leather. <gasps> what in the world is wrong with this crazy mammoth? Why would it attack us? What is wrong with... Oh no, it killed a dog! <sighs> but this is be tons of supplies for us some fresh meat. People are happy. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Stupid cave hyenas. Always causing everybody grief. You know, they're just causing trouble. Let's move these stones. Go ahead and gather up those stones because we're going to put another little some fields right here. How's our mine up here doing? Yep, this person's mining. Plenty of flint left. 38 pieces of flint. Then we can build another flint mine here. And another flint mine. Thought I had another one there. Yeah. So we have plenty. Plenty of flint. 
eventually we'll get into iron and copper and bronze and all the flint stuff will kind of go away. I think we have any new crafting recipes. Let's look here. Flint knives, we can turn that on. Because the flint knife, bone knife, we're pretty much the same. Flint and sickle, bone sickle are the same. There's no real advancement there. Yeah. Oh, let's do that. What other stuff can we un What else did we unlock? Let's see. Storage. Granary we built. Storage hut. I guess we can go ahead and build a storage hut. This thing, this storage tent's empty, so let's just go ahead and recycle that storage tent. Get rid of it. And try to try to lay this out neatly. I do know that we will need... We don't have enough mud. Mud is al always a problem. So, um... Get another person collecting mud. This person's still fishing. Uh, we can take you off of fishing. I just don't need my fishing right now. We need mud. Mud. Lots of mud. They need logs for their fire. We'll go get them. Oh yeah, you can see the smoke rising out of the hut. See? Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. I think it's awesome. I think it's, it's excellent. Alright. Let's build... Um, we're going to go ahead and build another granary, because we're going to need it soon. I uh, just don't want food storage to ever be an issue. We'll kind of make these facing each other right there. That way the people can get in to the granary on each side. And then I think what we're going to do is we'll build storage hut. You can see by the arrows the, ins, the in and out. Then we'll put a storage hut here. That's what we'll do. And then the storage hut, we're only... No foods allowed. Um, no materials. No tools. No clothing. Just materials. That's all we're going to put in there. And eventually what we can do... Don't want food there. Don't want materials there. Yeah, because clothes, yeah. No materials there. Alright. Now that they're building away. Oh, this hut has a different roof. Look. Oh, it's because it hasn't snowed on it. Okay. Alright. I was like, huh, that's different. What the heck? Survive the winter. More knowledge gained. Man, look, it's like a mass herd there. Alright, now everybody's farming. So. In the spring, your workload will be very high because they have to get all the crop planted, which takes time. It takes a lot of time to get that done. What's this guy here? Muskox. We're really good on meat. I don't think we need any right now. But what we can do is we can do another knowledge advancement. We're just going to go ahead and go with it. We're going to go with goat domestication. And with the goat domestication, we can build our first animal farm. Build a residence stable. So you have to have a place to keep your animals. That'll probably be in the next episode, but it has been unlocked. So we'll, we'll definitely start domesticating animals in the next episode. I want to get the storage hut built. Both the granaries are looking great. Plenty of room for them. Cave lion attack. Where? Get off of me, cave lion. Get away, cave lion. There we go. Some meat. Man, knowledge, knowledge. People joining like crazy. Uh, how are we on mud? We only have one mud left. What are we waiting on? Waiting on mud. Like I said mud is really your... It kind of slows you down when you get to this point. I feel like I kind of I've, I've been playing oh my gosh cave hyenas get them dogs that's the why you have dogs they protect you what's this it's a young cave lion cave hyena I was trying to see if there's any more pups nearby any young wolves that we can domesticate see any just the hyenas 
Yeah. Hyenas can't be domesticated in this game. Isn't it funny, though, that... that uh, I think they can be domesticated to a point, but... I think there's a reason why people haven't domesticated hyenas. Because <laughs> they probably aren't the... You know, best animals in the world. Post... There we go. It'll tell you, eventually, these sleds will break... You have to do that. I've played, like I said, I played a little bit up until I got into uh, the Neolithic age. And that's kind of, I got animal domestication and some other stuff. So I kind of understand. When it gets into copper, bronze, and iron, I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea. Oh, really? We're out of flint? Oh, just that area over here. That's all. That ground flint. That's okay. We don't need it. Now that we can mine, we don't need it. I want the storage hut to be built. Build, people! We'll set the priority to high. I want to get it built so we can start kind of clearing out this area. Just kind of you know, clean things up, make them look nicer. For all these. These are all. What's this thing? Cave hyena. Cave lion's dead. I'm just gonna hunt all these. I don't. I. I will like exterminate the species if I must. Cave lions are just. They're not good. And they're probably not harvesting the bone because I probably have a resource limit on bones. Great the storage hut. Uh, probably because my limit on bones has been met. It's alright, we'll just harvest them either. What is this? Who died? Tarok! I didn't see that! Our friend... Oh, man. Tarok. He was one of the originals. He died. The poor man, Tarok. Died. Where's Hornak? Ka... Period. I want to. I want to see if Hornax got gray hair yet. I haven't checked on him in a while. Rowan, when he has gray hair, it's gonna be hard to find him. Wish you could search for people by name, but you can't. Anra. Imka. Borkel. Oh, they're building our storage building. Isn't it cool? I, th I think it, it's really, really cool. Neat. I, th I like the models. I really, really enjoy this game. A lot of fun playing it. Hope you're having a lot of fun watching it. I think that's it on this episode. I think what we'll do in the next one is we'll talk about next weekend. We'll work on domesticating animals. We'll work on expanding our farming. And uh, maybe even get into some defense. Because at some point, very soon, I think it's the Neolithic Age... Once you research the fence, you can start getting attacked. So as soon as you research it, people can start attacking you. So you want to uh, you want to make sure that that's not a problem. I'm still looking for Hornak. I'll keep looking for him. Keep looking for the old man. Cause I hope I hope he uh, I hope he ages well. There's our storage hut. Right there. Uh, structure. Everything lasts two times longer. I remember on this one is one and a half times longer, so things last longer in there. Supplies, but we're just putting materials in there for now. And this material storage tent right here, we're just going to kick all that stuff out. There we go. And we're going to recycle it and get rid of it, because we don't need this space. Yeah. Now things are going great. Very, very happy with how Little Village is doing. Let me know, again, let me know what you, we want to name it. Um, I've recorded these episodes back-to-back, -back, the one on Saturday and Sunday, so we will have a name next weekend for our great village. All right, buddy, until next time, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.